so last night I was driving this thing, uh, the Bronco, and um, I looked down at my dashboard and noticed that my voltage was down to like 12.2 volts, which uh, is a clear indicator that the alternator wasn't working. Um, good thing I got a brand new battery though. Um, I mean, I was able to drive like six miles without even, uh, you know, shut off all my extra stuff like the radio and stuff, but I was able to get home, you know? So I'm stoked with that, but um, don't know what's up with this thing. I do actually have extra, uh, you know, you saw my other video, the 3G conversion. I, I did buy an extra alternator, but I think I'm just going to take off the voltage regulator and see if uh, I can figure out what's up with this thing, you know, and swap it out first before I totally change out the uh, alternator. But let me show you real quick uh, the kind of voltage I'm getting. So what's weird is it's sporadic too. So when I first started up, I get like 14 volts you know, 14, 4, whatever, and then it kind of quickly goes off, so, you know, when I take this alternator off, I'm going to check the wires, make sure that's all great, but, you know, just, uh, let me show you real quick, I'm going to start the truck up, and you'll see, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see it go, uh, sporadically up to normal voltage, and then come back down, so, all right, let me get this going. Go, so, going to turn the power on, you can see it's 12 volt, well, it's connected to my battery charger right now, so, Battery is pretty high. Uh, let's fire this thing up. Well, last time I started up this morning, it was uh, okay. I went up to 13 for a second. Not go anywhere. Okay, this kid thinks I'm leaving. Okay, so yeah, you can see that it's not working. So um, here's a. Uh, the two alternators I got at the junkyard. Um, the first thing I noticed is uh, the one that I took off, which is this one on the left-hand side. Uh, this is not a Motorcraft. Um, it's never noticed it. Motorcraft uh, voltage regulator module. So um, it could be like a cheap Chinese one. It definitely would uh, say Motorcraft if it was Motorcraft. Like this one says Motorcraft. So the first thing I'm gonna do is. Take off the regulator and look at the brushes and see if there's something wrong with this thing. And uh, I also have a different 3G alternator, but because now I'm thinking, you know, if I have an extra 3G alternator, you know, besides this one right here, I might take the voltage regulator module off and just keep it in the Bronco. So, like when I'm off roading, you know, if this happens again, I can uh, take the alternator off and do this in the field if I have to. And because it would suck to be, you know, 30 miles in or 20 miles in, the, in a trail in the mountains. And you know, your freaking uh, alternator goes out, and you can't. You're 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 living on battery power. Um, all right, cool. So let me uh, get that going and uh, get it going. All right. Um, alternator I have. Um, this is a 3G, a small case or not small airspace 3G. But actually, it doesn't even have a motorcraft on either. I got this. This was a remanufactured one I got a couple of years ago. It has a Aura some other freaking random brand so um i guess i'm gonna take the motorcraft one off man because i really have motorcraft on there so all right all right guys look at that thing it looks pretty bad sorry um that's one brush there should be two brushes this thing is just gone history well i'm gonna try to clean it up and see if it's actually really worn out or not i mean that one looks fine sorry this one's totally jacked. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty messy in there. But the, the contact points... Shit, I'm trying to get that in there. But the contact points... Oh, sorry, if you guys can see that. Can I get an angle? These are the contact points right in there. If you can see that. Um, there's definitely some dirt in there. Um... I'm gonna take off the other one just to double check it. I mean, this is pretty basic. It's just, uh, you know, four screws and that's it. Then you can take out the regulator. But, uh, yeah, and this is a. Uh, clear it out. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this thing is. Uh, yeah, the whole thing is just coming up, flaking off. Alright, so that's pretty much done. I mean, in theory, you could actually just go and um, probably get new brushes for this thing, but 
but it's not really worth. I mean, for, you you can get a new one, not a new one, like not like a probably not gonna be a Motocraft brand for like twelve bucks on uh, Craig or uh, sorry uh, Amazon. So, yep. All right, cool. So I'm gonna compare these two alternators now. I'm gonna take them apart and see uh, which one's better. I don't even know. If, I mean, I know this one is the the old 3G that it had. I mean, this thing is probably has about five thousand miles on it. So, um, all right, I'll take the motorcraft off and uh, come back out and let you see it. Here's the motorcraft, and uh, that doesn't look bad. I mean, it's. I mean, definitely the other one was totally history. So. Uh, I will probably end up using the Motorcraft one, and then what I'll do is I'm going to take off this other one. I'll show you the other one too. Sorry, kids grab. Dude, relax. This here is this uh, no-name brand. This is the uh, Ara, and this is the Motorcraft brand. I mean, obviously, this thing definitely has a lot more brush life, but. Yeah, I guess I could always take the brushes and solder them, but yeah, I don't even feel like I can bother with that. Change out the brushes. But but I will do is I'll keep this with one extra in the Bronco as a backup. It should be the same pattern. Alright, cool. Alright, so I decided to fix the uh, the uh, other Bronco, or the other, sorry, the other uh, alternator. But I'm going to use a motorcraft. Um, so instead of the other one, because the armature, at least where, where the uh, where the contacts connect, uh, it looked better on this one, and the shape of this one was better. The other one actually had deeper grooves, so I might as well keep the uh, regular module with the one it came off, and then I'm going to create a little baggie. And it's you need a paper clip for this. So it's just a matter of. Uh, Should be able to get. There should be a hole somewhere in there. Yeah, this one's kind of worn out too. Wow. Well, the brushes on this one are pretty pretty worn out as well. So, huh? Yeah, I mean, normally these these brushes are pretty. Uh, all right, let me play with this. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out. I might, I might replace the brushes on the modules and change them around a little bit. All right, so what you see here is uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the uh, brush modules around. This is the one that has this is pretty much new, and has tons of life. Whereas this thing is basically at the end of it, it's it's pretty worn out too. It's at the very end of it. it's like a little life here. I mean that's the end of the spring right there. So um, I'm gonna re I'm gonna take this. It's just two screws, and I'm gonna take this module off and swap it over. All right, uh, brushes on the uh, motorcraft module. You know, like the no-name brand. I took the uh, brushes off this one and moved them over to this one. And uh, put that back on the, uh, on the alternator here. Oh, yeah, then I have to uh, push these down. See the little hole right there? i got to push those down until I get into the hole. Okay. One. Sorry. Then i got to get this one in there. Find a way to get that little hole there. A little tricky. There we go. That way, as soon as I pop it in here, I pull the the paper clip out of there, and it releases the uh, brushes, so it actually touches and makes contact. All right, this is my spare parts bin in the back of the Bronco. So if I'm out cruising around, I mean, I could probably. Uh, I mean, those brushes aren't perfect right here, but uh, I should be able to get home with that. Yeah, I mean, at least uh, to get new brushes or whatever, but. You know, I mean, this will hopefully, uh, you know, if I have an alternator, I should be able to fix it on the on the uh, on the trail. So, cool. Alternator back in. This is the second alternator. So, 
guess we'll see the difference. Like I said, this one internally looked better than the other one did, so that's why I put this one back in. All right, so let's fire this up and see what happens here. All right, oh, I gotta put the battery back on. So I gotta put the positive battery cable back on. You can see the voltage right there, 12.8 volts. Yeah, so 20 volts. All right, 12, you can help me fix this? Yeah, right. I have it fix this. All right, cool. Let's start this up. Positive, getting all the right leads, you know, everywhere. I've used my little <laughs> tester, voltmeter, all that stuff. So, all my wires are actually connected correctly and I'm getting continuity. I even tested this module, I'm getting continuity all the way through it, which is uh, trying to figure out what's up. All right, so I mean, this could be a bad module, I don't know. Or, I mean, the brushes, like I said, they they I got continuity all the way through the module, so all right have the original alternator back on with the secondary motorcraft one with those extra brushes so <laughs> if this motorcraft one doesn't work then I put the original one back on so on the other alternator it's either the freaking module bad or the alternator is bad some kind of internal windings in here are bad so I don't know so I like I've checked all the wires and everything looks good so we'll give it a go again here we go again okay here we go Boom. Car got flooded with gas now. Um, there you go, 14.6. Okay, 14.6? So, 14.6 volts. So that goes to tell me, or it makes me think that this is the motorcraft model from here, I think. So, Something wasn't right. You wasn't getting con the brushes weren't getting contact on the actual the internal uh, alternator, or there's something wrong internally with this one. Um, so I know the other one actually had bad brushes, and that's what I fixed the module on the brushes. So getting 14 the right kind of voltage again, which is good. But I wonder what's up with this alternator. So I don't know, but I got it fixed. Cool. All right. Yeah. So I guess it took me three different alternators. I guess to. Well, I guess it's not really. I mean, I don't know if the other module is bad or not. But I mean, just by looking at the brushes, you can tell it's pretty much that was it. That was a problem with the alternator. But all right. Cool. Uh, don't forget to put the paperclip back in the uh, your emergency bag here. So all right.